Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to talk about something a little bit more uplifting. We're going to talk about Comcast, DirecTV, and their operators that are based out of some of the southern states. Some of the dumbest people on earth Comcast has working for them. Do you know that in the last six months I have spent more than 75 hours on phones with technicians, Comcast operators, and supervisors trying to get an appointments for four different problems that in the end they found existed on the lines or the equipment. But the 75 hours that I spent with the telephone operators, technicians, supervisors, and repairmen in the last six months, I didn't get reimbursed five cents for. And I can tell you that unequivocally, on just one instance, two months ago, I made more than 35 phone calls from a payphone, put $75 of quarters into the payphone to get an appointment scheduled for my house, and each time the stupid person came to fix my telephone and my cable, which was out of service, they called up my telephone number to see if I was home, and then when no one answered the phone, they canceled the appointment and made me wait between 48 and 72 hours additional time because my phone didn't work, and it's on the work order that the phone didn't work, but the idiots that they sent to my house can't read. So they called up the telephone that they're supposed to fix as part of the work order, even though there's a note saying beep the horn or knock on the door. But no, you know what the problem is, ladies and gentlemen? The people that work on Comcast are the most incompetent people on the planet Earth. Now, during that one period of time where I made approximately 35 phone calls, my phone service didn't work between 10 and 13 days, and I spent $75, and I had to drive a quarter of a mile each time I needed to make a phone call and drop 50 cents into the phone every three minutes. Each time I spoke with a supervisor, they said I was going to get reimbursed for my money. And do you know what? At the end of the billing period for the month of November, for the month of December, for the month of January, I didn't get credited. I had to call them up at least 15 times till I got the regional director on the phone and complained to him. And you know what he gave me? He gave me one month's free service that came out to about $74. And I spent $75 on phone calls, and I didn't have service for between 10 and 13 days. So I had to recall him up in February to get credited for the 13 days that I didn't have service, but they wouldn't give me a credit because I didn't call them up, and even though they knew there was a work order on my line, I didn't call them up and tell them that today starts the day that I don't have service. So in theory, they knew I didn't have service, but they wouldn't give me credit for the service because it's a different department that you have to call up and get the service notice that you don't have service. So I never got credited for my 13 days for Comcast. I lost 75 hours, and my suggestion to you, if there's another cable company on earth that you can do business with, I would suggest that you do business with anybody but Comcast because what they put me through is 75 hours of phone calls in the last six months, let's say, seven months, $75 in quarters into a phone machine, at least $10 worth of gas to get back and forth on 15 or 20 different occasions to get to the phone 
And at the end of the day, each time I said there was a problem, there was a major complication somewhere in the line. They've replaced my equipment four times. They've replaced my wire from the house to the street. They replaced the house to the street to the line. They replaced Comcast sucks as far as I am concerned. That's my opinion. If you want to form your own opinion based on other facts, that's up to you. But in my opinion, I wouldn't use Comcast if there was another service provider. But we only have DISH, and DISH doesn't work in storms. So they got you by the short hairs, ladies and gentlemen. But if I had a choice to choose between Comcast and blowhard cable servicing, I would choose blowhard cable services before I chose Comcast 99,000 out of 99,001 times because in my opinion Comcast sucks.